conference championship weekend coming up. What are you feeling? What are your picks? Who do you think's going to come out on top? What kind of a uh, Super Bowl are we going to see here? These are really good. If you have been following that funny uh, conspiracy theory online where the uh, logo of the Super Bowl every year matches the two teams that are in it, that's been a fun I have theory. not. Oh, okay. that's a fun one. I'll, uh, I'll send you that. Um, three years in a row, the, the colors in the logo match up with the two teams that end up playing in it. Um, and this year it's a purple and maroon logo. So lock it up. It's a Ravens Niners Super Bowl. Done deal. But funny enough, that is actually my pick. My pick is Ravens Lions. For the Ravens, I think they're just like the best team in football. I think the Ravens just hit people in the mouth and they just don't really stop, right? I mean, I think uh, defensively, that's the only part on the field that I feel like you won't see many issues out of, right? When you consider like the four main phases of the game, the Chiefs offense versus the Ravens offense and the Chiefs defense versus the Ravens defense. I've seen the Chiefs defense play well, but I've also seen them kind of just you know, they have to lock in and play well for periods of the game at a time. Whereas the Ravens defense, it's just the moment they come out on the field, they're ready to go and they're ready to hit you. And I don't think they're other than Travis Kelsey, which I mean, it's at a certain point, like Cinderella is going to, you know, it turns back into a pumpkin kind of thing. Um, I don't think Travis Kelsey is turning into a pumpkin anytime soon, but I don't think you can expect Travis Kelsey to kind of single-handedly carry that receiving core. And uh, otherwise, I think, you know, the Ravens are just going to hit the young wide receivers of the Chiefs. I think they're really good, and I don't want to doubt Patrick Mahomes, and I think it's stupid too because I think this is his Tom Brady year when Tom Brady was short on receivers kind of thing, right, where he just proves that he can do it all by himself. So I wouldn't be shocked if it's a Kansas City, but in terms of just knowing what I have seen in the last few weeks, I just think the Ravens are just too consistent. They're playing too well of ball. Um, as soon as the second half started and they just started, you know, they knocked their own rust off. I mean, there was just, it was a well-oiled machine and there was no issues at all. So as long as they can carry that momentum in, I think like the, I think the chiefs might've won their super bowl last week, right? Like beating the, the bills was just exhausting. And that was their, like their hill to overcome. And unless, you know, if the, if the chiefs just make the super bowl, like you can make a super bowl DVD out of just that. Like the the amount of amazing miracle wins that the Chiefs have done this year um, are incredible, and if they win the Super Bowl, this this would probably be the greatest single individual like quarterback Super Bowl drag your team kind of performances. So my gut and my brain say the Ravens. Um, on the other side, I think the I think the Niners had to get a wake up call against Green Bay, and I think everybody kind of does. I think you just see like, hey, like we are the tougher, bigger, stronger, faster team here, and we're not playing that way because we are not keeping up with the Green Bay Packers. So unless – if the Niners can't do it this year and at least make the Super Bowl with this kind of road that was paved for them, it's kind of the same thing with the Lions. I mean, it'd be a nice story, but I, I feel like rarely do you see these just heartfelt – teams that just play hard every week because they are just laying it all on the line and breaking their legs out on the field just to do it. I don't feel eventually like the better team wins at a certain point. So the only way I can see the Niners flopping is because Brock Purdy just kind of fails. And Kyle Shanahan hasn't been the best play caller these playoffs. Um, so I do see, I think I'm much closer on the Lions. Niners game, I could say easily it's like 55% Niners, 45% Lions. Uh, so I'm not far off with you, but I I just look at them and I'm like, man, these guys are just too good to not make it. Like if they if they get beaten by the Lions, the scrappy Lions, that's how I look at them, right? They're just scrappy. Like they're good, but and they they're similar to the the Packers in the way of no one's like an absolute elite superstar on that team, but together they're all really really good so i agree with you about the ravens i think lamar's just playing way out of his mind and they're rolling i don't think there's much any team can do to really stop him i, th I think i'm going all the way and actually winning the thing um when it comes to the lions 49ers you know in the last game between the 49ers and the packers that game was in the hands of jordan love i mean they had over a minute with one time out and we know we've seen great quarterbacks. We've seen Aaron Rodgers do it. 
on that same, you know, in that same organization where if you leave that much time on the clock for him and all he needs to do is, you know, go down and what kick a field goal to tie it, touchdown and win it, he's most likely winning it. Um, it's just too big of an opportunity for a good quarterback to go out there and just take the game under control and win it. But the Lions, the reason why I like the Lions is throughout the season, I've seen them win in multiple ways. Good teams find ways to win. Bad teams find ways to lose. The Lions have found ways to win. Even in the game against us where uh, where Jared Goff threw three interceptions and they still had a special teams fumble, four turnovers total, they still wound up winning that game. So, you know, call them scrappy, if you will. I'll call them very versatile and tough. And, you know, I think that team's going to battle till the very last second, no matter what. I don't know. I, I think you're right. I think that's a lot closer of a matchup there because the 49ers are a very, very, very good team. But, man, the Lions, they're just – they're cutthroat. Yeah, I mean, I think both games should be good, and you would assume so because they're two AFC, NFC championship teams and stuff. But I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Chiefs, Lions in the Super Bowl and it was completely the opposite of my pick. I wouldn't be surprised by it at all. And um, I would say, frankly, that's maybe a more sloppy, entertaining Super Bowl. I think the Kansas City-Detroit Super Bowl is just, like, more fun and goofy and silly and a wild Super Bowl to see. Um, whereas, like, the Ravens and the Niners is almost just, like, two well-oiled machines, right? Mm-hmm.